welcome. Today I'm going to show you uh, a nice little way to work wet into wet, um, draw a boat, trees, reflections, all in one painting. There's no drawing involved, it's simple painting. We're going to use three colours and they're all earthy colours. That's a uh, burnt umber. This is burnt umber. We have burnt sienna and we also have yellow ochre. They're all similar in color. So we start off with uh, the yellow ochre. And we also use the burnt sienna. Now I'm going to be using these colors very quickly. And one will run into the other and we're in a portrait format this time and uh, let's just see how it works out so first of all we've got to wet our paper so i'm taking my brushes and i'm going to wet all of the paper this time so that it starts off like this. I'm using two brushes just to make it get the, the water onto the paper faster. And you try and um, cover it all up. So we have plenty of water and you make sure that everything is with all of the paper is wet if you look side on you can see if you've missed anywhere so this is 140 pounds in weight this paper it's called arches aquarel and it's a uh, 100 percent cotton the brushes are my own brushes so I'm starting off with the yellow ochre. So there's our middle, the middle of the painting there. So I'm just coming to one side of it like this. Like that. And I'm going to leave a little gap in the middle. So I'm going to start this side here now. So you have a line like that. And then you have this little part in the middle. Now I'm going into the, the burnt sienna. And that just overlaps this here. Again, some more. And uh, I'll overlap it this side, like that. It right out so and then I'm going into the final color which is the burnt umber and again that will overlap so as you can see there we're starting off the lighter tones and as they go out to the edge they get darker and darker so again on this side here blend them so I'm just going to lift this slightly and just let them blend into one another just let it run and again just on this side here and the more you push it up the more it'll run so once you have it done like that, you just leave it flat. So, start in the middle, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber. Now I take my brush, taking um, the burnt umber, which is the dark color, and I'm going to add it round about here. And what I'm doing is, 
and just tapping it and brushing it across and you stop there pick it up here again like that and then you push up like this like that and you do the same on this side push it up taking some more now this time I'm bringing it down so this is partly reflections and partly it's just to get the, the mix of color. Now, I'm gonna change my brush now. I'm taking a short flat brush like this. This is a bristle brush. And I add a little bit of water into it. It doesn't hold water. So I'm using this as a texture. This will give me texture. So I start off I'm going to put that line back in here, there, and here, bring it back this way. Now I'm going to put in some trees here, again, distant trees, pushing this up again. Same here. Now they'll all blend into one another because this is all very wet. A little bit here. And the same here. A little bit more color, burnt umber again. And at this time I'm going to put individualize some trees in it. So I'm going to start here like this. I'll put another one here. Maybe there. You don't have to finish it out. You can leave that little bits in like that there. It's like they're showing a little bit of light. And then you can just put in darker tones like this. Try and capture that image. Just with a bit of dark tone like that. And I'll do the same on this side here. Again, I'll put a large tree there. Something smaller here and there. And again, I'll reflect them. Like that. Now I'm gonna put a little tree here. Kind of on its own there. And then I'll just reflect them into the water like that. So these are my my distant Backgrounds here, this is almost like a sunset or a sunrise. These are distant trees here, and these are more individual trees here. And just a little bit more there. Now, I'm gonna dry this off a little bit. I need to get a little bridge in there. Now I'm going to apply, <clears throat> I'm just trying to capture a little bridge in here. So again, I'm taking the burnt umber tone. And I want to make just a little bridge here. So this is going to come across here like this. And then it comes round. So I draw the bridge just come down a little bit more and here and 
and then we just fade that off. Just take a little bit of water, clean the brush, and just fade that through there. Same here. Now we need to reflect all that into into the the water. So we start off here. We get our shape like that. And we just use irregular brush strokes like this. But what's important about those brush strokes is that they're level. You want to try and keep that water look. So it's important that you keep it all level like that. Now as that dries a little bit more, I'll add another little bit in here. And again, I just want to take that uh, brush, clean it. Just pull it through my fingers there a little bit, take most of the water off and then blend it out. Blend it out. Now, <clears throat> to put a boat in here, I'm going to give you a, a little technique. And um, it's just an old photograph, a type of paper, an old photograph. And what I did was I cut a boat shape out on it. There's just there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And that'll make it easier then for, for when you're putting your boat in. So all you do is take a nice scissors, be very careful. And you cut two lines very close together. So you get that effect there. You then Take your scissors and you cut up like that, each side. And then you snip that off across like this, angled up slightly. And here. So you're left with that shape there. It's a bit long there, so I'm just going to lose that at the bottom of the, the photograph. So there's our little shape there that we have there. So all you do with this, nice and simple, you apply it wherever you want on your painting, I'm going to do it there. Try and go into an area that's uh, deep, like the deep tone, like a color underneath like that. You just put that down there. And then you take standard issue, baby wipe, fold it over a few times like this, fold it again, and then try and get it nice and tight like this wrap it round like that so you have a little round roll like that so all you do then you put your fingers to hold the paper and you push this in like that and get it down there so it comes up like that we have a little tiny mass there and you have a little bit of the boat sticking out at the bottom. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I have one here that I cut earlier. I just want to make it a little bit bigger. And again, you make up that tight roll. Just take it out there. 
and be careful when you're lifting it off. So we have our mast and we have our boat. I just need to dry that. Then you take your burnt umber again. Now on one side of the boat you're going to create um, like a shadowed area. So I'm going to take it here so the boat will look like this. And then I'm just going to reflect that here. Put a little cabin on it. And I just want to pull in just a slight little bit of that white, just under the white there again. Again, dry that. I just want to pull that reflection over that little line there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the mass there. Okay, so that's our boat. That's our scene. We have this is a sunrise on Callow Lake, in County Mayo, using three colours, burnt umber, burnt sienna and yellow ochre. I hope you enjoyed that.